Now in part A then, we're asked to draw a speed time graph. So make sure you put your axes in like so. Make sure you label them. Let's have that then as speed in meters per second. And on this axis we have the time and that's measured in seconds. So first of all then we're told that the car moves from point A to point B with a constant speed of 25 meters per second. So I'm going to put that there. And it does this for the first 10 seconds. So let's imagine then that this is 10 seconds. So the car is going to move then at a constant speed. So that'd be a horizontal line until we just get over the 10. Then over the next 8 seconds, that's going to take us up to 18. So imagine that 18 is there. Over the next 8 seconds, the car decelerates at a constant rate until its speed becomes V. So we're going to reduce this, going to come down here like this. It'll be a straight line. okay? And it's going to approach the speed V. And then over the next time period, up to 30 seconds, it moves at a constant speed, so we'll say that 30 is there, it moves at a constant speed of V, so it's just going to be a horizontal line like that until we reach the 30. So starts off at A and finishes at B. And that would be the sketch then of the speed time graph. And that brings us to the end of part A.